My name is Danilo Maldonado. I have been spray painting graffiti for the last five years. It is my first time showing this artwork. I couldn't show it in Cuba. My name is Raudel. I am a hip hop artist committed to my message, my music, and to the Cuban people. It's a really interesting group of almost 20 kids that are made up of artists, they're made up of lawyers, they're made up of dissidents, some of them are bloggers. This program is attempting to create an educational international exchange program between Cuban students and American universities. This is the first time that J-1 visas have been offered to students in Cuba since the revolution. I know that the totalitarian system, like communism, tries to destroy the self-esteem of people. This class is about Cuban culture. It is the first time I've heard it because Cuban history is usually written to favor the people in power. I brought these because they are the least dangerous. The more radical ones are in Cuba and haven't been shown yet. I was arrested once and held for four days. The government wanted to know who was supporting me, who was helping me. If freedom of expression restrictions are ever loosened, it will benefit people associated with the government, like government artists, not people like me. This is the music video for my song, Decadencia. I've always said that I was attracted to Cuban hip hop, to rap out of necessity, to express things, to tell the story of the Cubans with less means, with less privilege. The situation in Cuba is so, so complicated, so profoundly unstable and difficult that any attempt at transformation or change has to be drastic, to be noticeable, and that is not happening. I think this was more of an effort of Miami-Dade College, of people from here, from the United States, who were interested in this taking place. I don't know to what extent the Cuban government is involved with this that happened, but I believe that the outlook is not completely bleak.